Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Imagine peering into a galaxy so distant, so ancient, that its light has been traveling toward us for more than 10 billion years. A light bent and warped by gravity, forming not one, but three shimmering echoes of a single massive cosmic explosion. This is the story of Supernova Hope, a gravitationally lensed Type 1a supernova discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, and perhaps one of our best chances yet to solve a mystery that's been plaguing astronomers for decades, the Hubble Tension. Let's unpack the science, the beauty, and the groundbreaking potential behind this extraordinary find. So, what is Supernova Hope? Captured by JWST's powerful instruments, Supernova Hope appears as a golden smear in deep space, nestled within a galaxy that looks like it's being stretched like warm taffy. But the light in this image isn't distorted randomly, it's been twisted and magnified by a cosmic phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. And that's what makes this supernova special, not just for its aesthetics, but for its location in space and time. Supernova Hope exploded when the universe was only about 3.5 billion years old, meaning this event took place more than 10 billion years ago, and its light is just reaching us now. But what really makes this discovery remarkable is its potential to help resolve a major cosmic puzzle, the Hubble Constant Problem, also known as the Hubble Tension. Let's talk about the Hubble Tension. This issue centers around how fast the universe is expanding. One way to calculate that rate is to look at objects nearby, for instance, by measuring the brightness and distances of Type 1a supernovas like Supernova Hope. These stellar explosions serve as what astronomers call standard candles, because they have consistent, predictable brightness levels that allow us to accurately measure distances in space. From there, scientists can determine how quickly galaxies are receding from us, and that leads to a value for the Hubble constant. But there's another way to calculate it, and that's by looking at the very early universe. Using observations like the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, researchers can apply cosmological models to predict how fast the universe should be expanding today. Here's the twist, these two methods don't agree. Measurements from the early universe suggest the Hubble constant is around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But measurements from the local universe, using Type 1a supernovas and Cepheid variables, give a higher number about 73. And that discrepancy, a gap of over 5%, is what astronomers call the Hubble tension. It's one of the biggest unsolved problems in modern cosmology. Enter Supernova Hope. The supernova was named Hope for a reason. It gives astronomers hope that we might finally resolve this contradiction. Brenda Fry, the study's lead researcher and a University of Arizona astrophysicist, explained, The supernova was named Supernova Hope since it gives astronomers hope to better understand the universe's changing expansion rate. The discovery began when Fry and her team noticed three points of light in a JWST image of a galaxy cluster known as PLC KG-165 plus 67, or simply G-165. These dots weren't visible in the same region when Hubble imaged it back in 2015. That raised an exciting question. What are those three dots that weren't there before? Could that be a supernova? Initial analysis confirmed their suspicion. It was indeed a supernova, but not just any supernova. Supernova Hope is a Type 1a supernova. These occur in binary systems where a white dwarf, a dead star that's no longer fusing atoms in its core, slowly siphons off material from its companion, often a main sequence star like our Sun. Eventually, the white dwarf collects so much material that it reaches a tipping point, triggering a thermonuclear explosion. Because these explosions are so uniform in their light output, they're incredibly useful for measuring cosmic distances. That's why astronomers call them standard candles, they serve as consistent mile markers for mapping the expansion of the universe. Supernova Hope, being one of the most distant Type 1a supernovas ever observed, becomes a crucial data point that can help link together the early universe and the local universe in one continuous expansion model. But how do we see this supernova in three places at once? That's where Einstein comes in. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's General Theory of Relativity, published in 1915. The theory suggests that massive objects warp spacetime, 
and light traveling near these massive objects will have its path bent. Imagine a bowling ball placed on a trampoline, it distorts the surface around it. If you roll a marble nearby, its path curves toward the depression. That's how gravity warps space. When light from a distant galaxy or supernova passes close to a massive object like a galaxy cluster, that mass acts like a lens, bending and magnifying the light. The result? We see multiple distorted images of the same object arriving at different times depending on how far the light had to travel along different paths. In the case of Supernova Hope, the gravitational lens is the G165 cluster. It caused the supernova's light to reach JWST from three different directions, creating a triple image effect. As Brenda Fry put it, the lens, consisting of a cluster of galaxies that is situated between the supernova and us, bends the supernova's light into multiple images. This is similar to how a trifold vanity mirror presents three different images of a person sitting in front of it. In the JWST image, the middle image of the supernova even appears flipped relative to the other two. That's due to the differences in the light's paths and the warping of spacetime. Fry explained it with a beautiful analogy. In the trifold mirror analogy, a time delay ensued in which the right-hand mirror depicted a person lifting a comb, the left-hand mirror showed hair being combed, and the middle mirror displayed the person putting down the comb. Each of these supernova images represents the explosion at a slightly different moment in time, and that time delay is more than just a curiosity. It's a scientific gold mine. By analyzing the time delay, the distance to the supernova, and the properties of the gravitational lensing galaxy cluster, scientists can derive an independent value for the Hubble constant. That means supernova hope is potentially offering us a third way to calculate the universe's expansion rate, one that could either reconcile the Hubble tension, or confirm that something new and unknown is at play in our understanding of the cosmos. The JWST observations didn't stand alone, either. They were backed up by data from ground-based telescopes, including the MMT 6.5-meter telescope on Mount Hopkins and the Large Binocular Telescope on Mount Graham, both in Arizona. Together, the observations confirmed that Supernova Hope is anchored to a background galaxy far behind G165. Its light has been traveling for 10.3 billion years, giving us a snapshot of a time when the universe was only a quarter of its current age. Another team member analyzed the evolution of the supernova's spectrum, helping to confirm that it was, indeed, a Type 1a supernova. So what did we learn from Supernova Hope? Early results suggest that the value of the Hubble constant derived from Supernova Hope aligns more closely with measurements from the local universe, around 73 kilometers per seconds per megaparsec, rather than the predictions from the early universe models. That means the mystery remains, but now we have a powerful new tool to probe it further. As Fry concluded, our team's results are impactful. The Hubble constant value matches other measurements in the local universe and is somewhat in tension with values obtained when the universe was young. JWST observations in cycle 3 will improve the uncertainties, allowing more sensitive constraints on the Hubble constant. Whether Supernova Hope ultimately resolves the Hubble tension or not, it represents a new frontier in observational cosmology. One where gravitational lensing, high-resolution space telescopes, and ancient stellar explosions all come together to help us understand the true nature of the universe. And that is something worth hoping for. And that's it. Thanks for watching Spaceverse. From a dying star 10 billion years ago to a cosmic mystery still unfolding today, Supernova Hope reminds us how the universe connects past and present, and just how much more there is to discover. If you enjoyed this journey through time and gravity, hit like, subscribe, and keep your eyes on the stars, because out here in the Spaceverse, every light has a story.